What is a stroke? Stroke is a devastating disease affecting 17 million victims worldwide. It is a leading cause of adult acquired disability. Stroke is a medical emergency. Do not wait. The longer you wait, the more damage happens to the brain. After a stroke and without treatment, an estimated 2 million brain cells, called neurons, die every minute. It is often said that time is brain. The earlier a stroke patient is treated, the more brain cells are saved. What happens when you reach the hospital with a stroke? At first, the medical team does a quick evaluation of your neurological functions, such as the person's consciousness, ability to see, move, feel, and speak. When a stroke is suspected, the patient is sent for a brain scan to confirm the diagnosis, the type, and location of stroke. A medical staff will obtain blood samples to be analyzed in the laboratory. Some patients may need urgent interventions such as surgery or other treatments to save life. Those who arrive early enough may be eligible for thrombolysis with a clot dissolving medication. The heart and lungs are checked for any underlying cardiac conditions that may be associated with a stroke and or any pulmonary complications due to the stroke. Once the urgent problems have been attended and depending on test results, the medical team decides on specific treatment. Treatment of acute complications, setup of supportive care, prevention of other complications, or control of the cardiovascular risk factors to prevent another stroke from happening. Strokes may not always be the same for all patients. So how exactly do strokes occur? Stroke is the result of a permanent damage to a part of the brain due to an inadequate blood and oxygen supply in this area. This may be caused by blockage or rupture of a blood vessel inside the brain. The cells in the part of the brain which are damaged die and can no longer function. After arterial occlusion, in a schema stroke, cell death happens in about six minutes in the core central infarct area that is devoid of blood supply. Within the infarcted tissue, a cascade of processes occurs that are toxic to brain cells. Soon after, fluid starts to accumulate, leading to edema or swelling. Around the core of infarction, there is an area called the penumbra, wherein the brain cells are stunned but remain viable for several hours. They may recover and survive if treatment is initiated early enough. The damage to the brain leads to impairment of neurological functions. The different areas of the brain are connected with different organs and body functions they control. For example, perception of pain and heat depend on an area of the brain different from visual perception or speech or emotions or movements controlled by other specific areas. In summary, stroke disconnects the brain from the part of the body or function it controls by breaking the connections. Depending on which connections are broken, Impairments after a stroke may involve motor, cognitive, speech, sensory, and or visual functions, among others with varying degrees of severity. The main goal of rehabilitation is to achieve the best level of functional recovery and autonomy for conducting our usual activities of daily living. So what can we expect from natural recovery and rehabilitation? Some patients with minor strokes may recover spontaneously over time but many would still need help in executing daily activities even six months after a stroke, such as walking, moving about, bathing, or dressing. With an intensive rehabilitation program, most of the natural potential for neurological recovery may be attained in the first three months. About 5% of patients only continue to recover for up to one year after a stroke. Motor power may improve over time, although this may not be synonymous with recovery of functions. Stroke rehabilitation is an important part of recovery after stroke. If about one in every 10 stroke patients would experience complete spontaneous recovery, about one-tenth of patients do not recover due to the severity of the stroke. However, eight out of 10 patients would have at least some degree of recovery with rehabilitation. Despite stroke treatment and rehabilitation advances during the past years, recovery after a stroke is still often incomplete and many still feel disconnected with their life. To know more about what can be done today in addition to rehabilitation, take a look at our next video and discover how can you help the brain repair itself and reconnect.